Hello humans, today I have decided to try and review the entire Triple J Hottest 100 of 2019 in just 10 minutes. But first, I have cubs to feed. This post is sponsored by Raudible. Here's celebrity felines reading your favourite fiction and non-fiction books. Here's Tigger reading Professor Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. Here's Simba the Lion reading Fifty Shades of Grey. And here the Tiger Who Came to Tea reading Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Sign up for a free trial now at raudible.com.grr Okay, here we go. June Rats, No Plans, Quality Late 90s Punky Indie, Cosmos Midnight, Can You Dig It? No, no I cannot. Baker Boy and Jess B, Medicin, Simple, Basie, Brilliant. San Cisco, skin. Not bland, just a bit dull. Bring me the horizon, Ludens. Much, much better than most of their last album. Adrian Eagle, A-OK. -okay. Nice, soulful, slow groove. All day, protection. Not my fave style, but decent enough slow rap. Post Malone, wow. Great beats and interesting use of his style. Client liaison, the real thing. Definitely a contender for the hottest 100 pop songs of 1986. Billy Eilish, All Good Girls Go to Hell, Magnificent Pop. Skeggs, Here Comes Your Man, Good Cover. Sampa the Great, Final Form, Great Beats and a Really Interesting Rap Track. Medjutsa and Becky Hill, Lose Control. Slightly above average Triple J dance music. Kanye West, Follow God. Decent beat, don't like the use of the word spazzing. Slipknot, Unsainted, one of the best tracks they've ever made, deserving of a much higher placing. Lana Del Rey, Doing Time, a good example of how to make chilled and minimal pop interesting. Dope Lemon, Hey You, monotonous mumbling dirge. Truly awful, the worst track in this list by some margin. Alex Leahy, Welcome to the Black Parade, decent cover. Peking Duck and Jack River, Sugar. Poppy Electronica with decent bass and spacey chorus. Flume and London Grammar, Let You Know. Interesting groove for an indie dance track. Basie Jane, Good For You. Jaunty 90s style indie, Nice. Dean Lewis, Stay Awake. He Might, I Struggled. Do we really need another Ed Sheeran or Passenger? Thelma Plum, Not Angry Anymore. Chilled Triple J Wave, it's all right. She flip I'm not afraid. Decent enough quirky pop. Meg Mac, something tells me. Triple J pop, nothing special. Golden features and the presets, paradise. A reasonable hybrid of their styles. Hayden James and Nations, nowhere to go. Nice squelchy bass driven dance pop. Cub sport, party pill. Slow and a little dull track saved by soulful singing. Angie McMahon, pasta. Minimal soulful solo that's so very, very Triple J. The Weekend, or The Weekend. Blinding lights, the power of simplicity and not going for bland mixing. East, or East. Talk deep. Again, very Triple J, but decent pop. Violent Soho, vacation forever. Smashing dinosaur super pumpkins junior chunk. Illy, then what? Decent enough poppy rap. Billy Eilish, wish you were gay. More magnificent pop. G Flip, stupid, not stupid, smart pop. Thelma Plum, homecoming queen. More story pop. Great words, meh, tune. George Alice, circles, smart pop. But by now, a lot of these are starting to blend in my head into one big tune. Halsey, nightmare, not blending, standing out. Power pop with a perfect chorus. Pakar, hell and back. Simple groove pop, okay, I guess. Holy Holy, Maybe You Know. Strong indie pop with an 80s vibe. Hockey Dad, I missed out. A contender for the top 10 of 2002, surely. Molrat and Basenji, Nobody's Home. More Nice Enough Triple J pop. G Flip, Lover. A mellower version of Damn I Wish I Was Your Lover by Sophie B. Hawkins. Not quite as good. Slowly, slowly, Jellyfish. Bright eyes crossed with busted, and the lyrics alternate from smart to completely inane. J. Cole, Middle Child, the best track he's done in ages. Khalid and Disclosure, Talk, 
talk about generic and boring. <sighs> Ocean Alley stained glass. Oh look, another yawn's coming. <sighs> Fisher, you little beauty. Welcome to 1990s Chicago, the good part. Tame in parlor, patience. Tame indeed, tries my patience. Benny, evil spider. A good example of a generally boring style. Holy holy, teach me about dying. Typical Triple J electronic indie, but good. Hints of early the strokes as well. Rule, free time, not in my free time. Ziggy Albert's intentions, brackets 22. Now I understand why the Pet Shop Boys started talking about banning acoustic guitars. I mean, it's, it's not really bad as such, but how many more of this type of artist do we really need? Brockhampton, sugar, more like saccharin. Dean Lewis, seven minutes. Oh. Oh, better than his other song on this list though. Denzel Curry, Ricky. Thank God for a change of pace. Great beats and bars. Baker Boy, cool as hell. Tepid as hell, but saved by some nice funk here and there. Tame in parlor, it might be time. It might be time to stop making such a big deal about such incredibly boring music. Juice World, Juice World. Robbery, generic as, yes. Travis Scott, highest in the room. Isn't this from the 2012 list? Halsey, Graveyard. Good pop, but not as good as Nightmare. Catfish and the Bottleman. Long shot. Average 90s Brit pop. Rule, face to face. Soulful, but a bit boring. Duke Dumont and Sean Ross. Red light, green light. I hate put your hands up music. Though this is a less hateful track than most of those. Pnow, solid gold. I like Pnow. But this is a plodding piece of tin, not gold. Billy Eilish, bury a friend. Even more magnificent pop. Glass Animals and Denzel Curry, Tokyo Drifting. Denzel is good, the track less so. Dom Dollar, San Francisco. Good pun. Decent enough housey bass track. Lime Cordial, Money. Meh. Skeggs, save it for the weekend. Archetypal hottest 100 music, but good. Flume and Rio Cragen, friends. Flume could record himself taking a dump and it would make the top 30 of the hottest 100. Luckily, this is alright and isn't him taking a dump. Medusa and Good Boys, piece of your heart. Meh, meh, meh. Lizzo, juice. Big girls don't cry, but they do write great pop. Stormzy, Vossy Bop. An average Stormzy track, which means pretty good. Tones and I, Johnny Runaway. Okay pop, nothing more really. Benny, find an island. Quirky Edge makes this better than average pop. Ocean Alley, Infinity. Bland, bland indie. Tyler the Creator, Earthquake. Slow, but steady. Rule, Painkiller. A dull style, but done pretty well. The Chats, Pub Feed. Lo-fi, old school, punky, indie fun. Pretty unique sounding on this list, which is always good. DMA's Silver. They used to sound like Good Oasis. This sounds more like Embrace. Benny Glitter, just above average Triple J Pop. Tame Impala, Borderline. Seriously? How is this in the top 20? I mean, it's the best of their songs in this list, but it's still incredibly boring. I just do not get why Tame Impala are so loved. Lime Cordial, I Touch Myself. A decent enough cover. Billie Eilish, Everything I Wanted. By far the weakest of her songs in this list, but still decent. Tones and I, Never Seen the Rain. Like churches, zverches, but with the edge removed and nasal singing added in its place. Sophie Tucker, Purple Hat. Fun, repetitive pop. A whole album of this might start to grate though. Lime Cordial, Inappropriate Behaviour. It's like an OK Arctic Monkeys album track. Fiddler, By Myself. A fun song about being miserable. Post Malone, Circles. Majorly Poppy. Hilltop Hoods, Illy and Echo Vandal. Exit Sign. Fuzzy Rap goes pop, but in a really good way. Thelma Plum, Better in Black. Powerful use of a pop sound, really good track. The Jungle Giants, Heavy Hearted, a decent dancey tune. Lime Cordial, Robbery, also a reasonable Arctic Monkeys B-side. 
G Flip, Drink Too Much, Strong Pop, probably the best of her songs in this list. Denzel Curry, Balls on Parade, the best Rage Against the Machine cover I've ever heard. And that includes What Prophets of Rage Were Doing, which basically was a Rage cover band. Tones and I, Dance Monkey, epically cheesy, but as catchy as the coronavirus. Mallrat, Charlie, decent enough pop, I guess. Flume and Vera Blue, Rushing Back, a decent flume track, so guaranteed top 10 in the hottest 100. And number one, Billy Eilish, Bad Guy, Traffic Signal Sampling Genius Pop. After listening to the whole Hottest 100 a few times over, it starts to become clear why people always complain that Triple J is getting worse. Not because it actually is, but because the Hottest 100 reflects a certain mainstream portion of the music they play. The actual daily listening experience is more varied and engaging than the blend of Triple J styles that end up filling most of the list. That said, the right artist and song got the top spot. Billie Eilish absolutely captures the sweet spot between mainstream pop and quirky, spiky indie. Can't wait to hear what she does next. Bye.